History is being painted on the streets of downtown Cincinnati right now. And come Friday, there will be a Black Lives Matter mural right in front of City Hall. Local 12's Tessa DeTiro talked to the artists who are bringing it to life. These artists are using the strokes of their paintbrushes to protest. We put it here because this is where things happen from a policy standpoint, but this is bigger than policing. This is about changing people's hearts. This is what the finished mural will look like. Brandon Hawkins is one of the artists bringing these words to life. Especially for us being in Cincinnati, you know, we've always got something to prove. People always think we're behind, but we wanted to maybe, you know, show them something different, hit them real hard with a new design, something the other folks haven't done. The volunteers are split up into letter groups. This group here is working solely on the B, the letter that will kick off the whole mural. Several different Cincinnati artists got to design what went inside each of these letters. Obviously, um, much larger than my typical canvas. So um, when you're up close, you're drawing and sketching, but then when you step back and you see the imperfection, so you have to go back in. Sharon is working with two other artists on the B. They're plotting out the letter with chalk, then paint tape and adding in lettering. Inside it will read, family peace. They all need to, we all need to put our thumbprint on this because the, we are the streets and we are talking. When it's finished, the artists hope their creativity sparks tough conversations. We do see color, but we should respect color. We should love it. We should love our diversity and it's just come on and you know, let's make this happen and let's change each other's hearts for the better and make this place better for our kids. We all want that. At City Hall, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. So that work is being sponsored by local organizations and people have donated more than $100,000 to make this happen. The final product is going to be unveiled on Friday, which is also Juneteenth.